Hello, my name is Kain Son, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to 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 create a form in Java using NetBeans, and then display data from Microsoft Access Table in the form. In my previous video, I showed you how to connect our Microsoft Access to NetBeans IDE, and that we do using ODBC data source. Right now, we want to display the actual data in the form more like creating a form view, or equivalent of a form view for ASP.NET. So let's go ahead to open our NetBeans IDE. Open. I use NetBeans IDE 7.1.2, it's been working for me. Some use a lower version, and it's also working. So where did I stop? I have a form I've created I call main form.java. It's just as simple as just right clicking add a new JFrame form. That's all. So that's what I did. So with my form open, I have source design and history. Source is where I write the code. Design is a interface where I drop the components, the, the test field, the buttons, and what have you. So right now, we want to drag a test field onto the form. We want to drag a test field onto the form. is a swing control. So it has a default name, uh, jTextField1. So what I like to do is to give it a name. So I right click here, I choose change variable name. I want to link it to the first name field. So I like using txt prefix then followed by the name of the column or field in the database. txt first name is what I give it. Okay. And that's just fine. So now I'm not going to worry about how to design the form completely. I just want to show you how to display data. Hold on. Okay, txc first name, that's fine. I want to remove this text here. So just say edit text and press delete and that's all. So we have this empty uh, text field here. So what we want to do is when the program runs, it displays the first records on the form. Or we want to look at how it works. And after now, in a different video, I'll show you how to display all the fields. And then we now think of how to navigate nice previews and so on. For now, let's look at how to grab the data from Access database and put it there in the test field. So it will have to do with a little code we have to write. So we go to the source. Now I've written some codes here. These codes I've written, I'll show you. Although some of these codes have been generated by the IDE, but uh, most of them I've written. So for now, we have these import statements. We import all of this. Now, you see, I have this uh, import that is marked with yellow on use import. We'll get over that in a moment later. But for now, take note you import Java, the test kill, the asterisk. You have all of this. Mm, I'll just, uh, if you can just copy and paste, uh, it's okay. So now, take note of these declarations of these variables here. A connection that handles connection between your uh, codes or, or Java and the data source. Then you have the statement, you have result site that holds the result or records uh, site from the data source. Then you have uh, the this uh, declaration here is has to do with the query, the select statement. So all of this, you don't have to worry, but just take note of this connection. 
connection is equal to driver manager that get connection then you put the name of your connection here you see assigns to night beams follows the next column and there in the databases you see that the name this is what we are using assets to night beams that we created in the previous video okay just a recap let's connect and look at the data we want to use so if you drop down this is what we are using the name has to correspond assets to net beams that accdb that is for microsoft asset database 2010 version so the table we want to use is this tbl student and if i right click and view data i have it, it runs this select statement here and then displays the result in another uh, pane or panel down there see create this tab sql command one okay so now you you also take note of this select statement here you can always change it to uh, any sql query you want to write that that uh, corresponds to the actual kind of data you want to get so by now i'm sure you should be able to write the sql uh, query so after that you have execute then you have rs is equal to s that get result set rs you know is a is a result set of the record set that is returned from the data source so except, except exception handling in java is excellent so you are forced to, to enclose everything in try cache block so now this is where we are this try cache here is where we actually handle displaying data right on the phone so the first thing i have after the try is rs.first rs.first means move the cursor to the first record in the result set that is make the first record in the result set current and the result set that understands it moves the cursor to the first record okay so the next step uh, you now display the record at the cursor position so what i do now is to set the test for the uh, test field to the the a particular field in the first record of the result set so what i do txt first name dot it gives us intellisense the set text good and i have rs dot get string dot get string and then the field is first name okay so I put my semicolon right there. Okay, that's all. So first record is displayed. So I just save and I will have to run. So get back to the design view and I just go to project main form, right click and run file. Just wait couple of seconds uh, it's run and does it kind of sure. that is the, the first name then the first record displayed in this test field here so it's as easy as that so in the next video i'm going to create a complete form view with the navigation buttons where we can navigate uh, between the records i hope this video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.